Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, six losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Wilburn, Massachusetts, Rob Bob! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. A flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. These guys throwing early. 
Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Nice leg kick land. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Nice, good. Keep that pressure there. Nice body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Try to establish that jab. Kick lands. Right hand punch from the clinch. Beautiful body. Back and forth we go. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Big leg kick land. A oh, little single collar tie there. Big punch lands through the middle. Just misses there with the left. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Good punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful elbow is there. Oh, knee to the head. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good punch, Lance. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'll tell you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times since the end of the night. got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Nicely done to the body. Battle for position here. That was a thudding leg kick. That's a big strike right there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Looking to land the leg kick now. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. Right? And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after guns and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. 
Oh, big punch land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Straight right, he misses. Got the single collar tie. Huge knee lands for the tie clean. So sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Three minutes now to go in round two. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Nice one, two there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big body kick. Beautiful combination there. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew. Oh, how about this as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a Von Flew choke. Ovin St. Preux would be proud. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop for this contest. At two minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Iron! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.